Good morning, everybody. My name is Michael Fox, and welcome back to Eorzea. Today we are celebrating the Hatching Tide, or for all you non-Eorzean kids, the Easter event. Um, this is the event that I thought was going to be up next before, because I forgot about Little Ladies' Day. Um, but that started uh, just today, and as you all know, I love doing these events on day one. I love, I do love this music too for some reason, and I'm curious as to why the um, the Makote isn't here. Usually she's the one that starts these quests, so we're gonna talk to Nonota. Nonota, I do have my Spriggan Mint out, or Spriggan Minion out to join us. Um, so last year was it last year or the year before? I'm trying to remember now when we got that mount. Do you remember when we got the mount? Was it? Last year or the year before? Ah. Ah. Um. I have no idea what this one's going to be about. I have high hopes for the events because the last, like, the the Valentine's Day event was epic. Um. Uh, Little Ladies Day was, was pretty decent. You got some cool rewards. Uh, this year you get a minion. Um. Actually, you know what? I might do this on... Let's see. What classes do I have that could do this? Ooh, should I do it as my rogue? I could do it as my rogue. Yeah, I'll just do it on my rogue. It's level 15, level 16 rogue. Uh, so, Norota needs your assistance in solving a hatching type hiccup. Uh, this year you get a minion. Uh, and it looked like a pretty cool minion. And I think there was some just some other random junk you could get. Oh, Kamino. How wonderful to see you, just in time to lend us a hand with the Hatching Tide festivities. You do remember how it all works, don't you? G Hill. Uh, pro never remember words. Prophetic, prophetic dreams, the egg decorating, the joyous laughter of child and adult alike. Yeah, I remember all that. Everything has been going to plan. Everything that is, aside from one tiny unexpected detail. The dreamer has not had her dream this year. Holy shit, that's different. Amelia, that's so different. It's different, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Okay. Uh, Jahil herself uh, seems unperturbed and suggested we go ahead with the hiding eggs around town for people to find. An egg hunt is, of course, the perfect, perfectly enjoyable event all by itself. Thus did we strengthen our egg caps and straighten our egg caps and turn our effort to efforts to the preparations. Jeez. Oh yes, I see it. Great, thank you. Uh, but now disaster has struck again. The eggs were so painstakingly crafted that were so painstakingly crafted have been viciously and maliciously stolen. Please, adventure, you must help retrieve our hatching tide treasures. Uh, leave it to me. Yeah, I got you. Uh, oh, thank you. Having a hero like you on the job can make all the difference. Uh, and you won't be working on... Hunts are a little active today. We're going to be hearing some bleeping. Uh, think, okay. Uh, you won't be working alone. You've also secured services of talented tracker. Uh, if you head off right now, you should find her investigating the scene near the Glutum Glor Gr Great Loam Growery. That is a mouthful. She'll be the one shouldering a bow and wearing a the fetching egg cap. A decidedly fetching egg cap. Okay, cool. I like, uh, number one so far, I like that it was, it was very quick sentences. Like, one, two, three, four. Like, hey, here's a problem. Hey, we're glad to have you. Please go do it. Uh, oh boy. I thought I knew where I was going, but maybe I don't. Ah, there she is. The Hatching Tide Hunter. Look at that egg cap. I should be wearing my egg cap. I'm too lazy to get out of storage. Oi! No one just sent you to help, did she? Good. I could use a second set of eyes. She looks familiar. Oh, Kamino, it's you. You surely remember me. Little Alpo. 
Lilith Alipo? Ah, uh, but maybe it would have been better had you forgotten. When I accepted the job, Nonota insisted I wear this ridiculous hat to be in the spirit of things, she said. Let's keep this festive garb between the two of us, alright? And if that thrice damned Wildwood finds out, I'll never hear the end of it. And that means no talking about it back to the guild either. Uh, right now, that's. Right. Now that that's settled, uh, we can focus on the task at hand. The eggs were apparently stored in a nearby hut. If we start from there and make our way down the path, we should find traces of the culprit. Should you come across anything out of the ordinary, bring it to me and I'll see if it has any relation to the crime. Let's catch let's catch ourselves an egg thief. Oh, my eye patch. I have an eye patch on for some reason, because that helps that helps you with the daggers. Helps you with the daggers. Uh alright. Go search through all these pretty eggs. I bet it was Grimbald. Grimbald looks like a piece of shit. Yeah, totally. looks... Just kidding. Uh, alright. Oh, there's, there's something. Broken crit. Broken crit. Interacting. Uh, you find a tuft of black hair caught on the edge of the broken plank. The strands are unusually thick and weary. Wiry. Uh, might have belonged to an Igby. Well, duh, you know it's gonna be the Spriggans. They're always behind the egg, Theban. They love eggs. They love the eggs. Do do do. Bridge on your music. I think I'm gonna have to go up. Oh, there's something. There is something over there. Shiny stone splinter. Interacting. This is by a splinter of a some shiny type of rock. This might have something to do with the egg thief? Question mark? Oh, I was like, how far is it going to take me? Like, there's nothing else on the map. Let's go out here. Let's go out here and let's search for the egg. Alright. Alright. Let's see. Oh, there it is. Trampled ground. Uh, you see evidence of someone passing through this area, but you cannot tell who made the tracks. Talk to Alapo here. Found some promising clues, have you? Let me have a closer look. Oh, not on the rat screen. Hand over, hand over. Bloop. Oh, you know what? I forgot to tell everybody Happy Easter. Today is April 1st. Or at least it's when I'm going to post this is April 1st. So Happy Easter. And Mary and Eggs. Eggs is on Easter, isn't it? You have eggs on Easter? Really asking me that? <laughs> You're doing the egg event. Do we have eggs on Easter? You know what? I also forgot. I also forgot my egg puns. Don't do it. Constant egg puns throughout this video. I almost forgot. Thanks for reminding me, cat. Uh, what? Uh, so. Like, like I said, I forgot to say Happy Easter to everybody. Hopefully you guys are having a fun Easter. Uh, doing egg hunts and all sorts of other egg sighting events. Uh, don't stab me. That would be extremely bad. <laughs> uh, we will start with the shiny... Uh, Cat, you love my puns. We'll start with the shiny stone. Hmm, it seems to be a flake of mithril ore. Odd. Since... To be sensed to the best of my knowledge, mithril deposits aren't naturally occurring in the Twelves Wood. We have this black tuft of hair, fur? It's awfully coarse. 
Uh, considering where you found it, it may well be belonging to the thief. Nice work. Yes, I am very excellent at this. Now it is my turn to share. Look carefully. You'll notice the tracks on the ground here. I do. Ho ho. Marked, marked those yourself already, did you? Uh, but what did I tell you aside from someone passing this way? Of course. I can make out three distinct sets. From the size and gulp. The size and gait. The first one was likely a female Makote. The steps are deep and deliberate. Thus, I suspect they were made by Jihil when she came to place the eggs. Uh, as for the second, they belong to a smaller than average Lalafell. Judging from the wide and random path of the steps, I believe they were made by a panicked Nonota when she discovered the eggs were gone and missing. The true mystery here lies with the third, and the smallest set of tracks. At first glance, I considered a beastkin, but the creature obviously walks on two legs. Putting together this evidence thus far, would you have her to guess as who or what is the culprit? A Lalafell! Or it's a Makote! No, it's, it's a... It's friggin' Spriggan, guys. It's a Spriggan! I knew it! Ah, very good. I see the evidence at hand has led us to the same conclusion. Our egg thief is at most certainly a spriggan. Whilst the motive is yet unclear, we at least have a suspect, suspect to chase. The spriggans of the Twelves would layer in the central shroud. Based on these tracks, the egg thief was very likely headed towards the yellow serpent gate. Let's follow the spore, shall we? An excellent idea, hatching tide hunter. Hopefully we're right, and it is the Spriggans, or we'll end up with egg on our face. Oh, no reaction. That's fine. Oh, she knocked one out. Look at him, little bastard. Little bastard. Little bastard stealing. Look at him. Oh, this might be more serious. He might be dead. Uh, you were a moment too late coming. I spotted a spriggan cradling an egg and took him down with my bow. You shot him? I didn't aim for anything vital, of course. We need him alive if we are to find out where he hid the rest of the eggs. You have the wrong spriggan! Oh, God. Oh, Riggy. My poor friend. Lie still. I'll have you mended in a moment. Makote Mender. Gosh, she's kind of cute. Oh, look at him go. There. Uh, your poor friend? Would you kindly explain what in the matron's name is going on here? Uh, yeah, she's a super cute Makote Mender. Uh, from your actions, I assume the two of you are on the trail of the missing eggs. Exactly, we are. Uh, the fortune would have it Riggy and I witnessed the crime itself. We watched aghast, even as the egg-laden Spriggan joined others and his kin and made off with the hatching tide spoils. You were there? But I was told there were no witnesses. And with that story behind this Spriggan then? Oh, Riggy here? He is an honorable and forthright soul presumed to... Pursued his brethren into the very lair, their very lair, and escaped with one of the stolen treasures. Riggy is a good Spriggy. Riggy is good Spriggy. Bring back Iggy. That's why I think they, they sound like. Unfortunately, however, the trail leading to the Spriggan nest is too narrow for folk of ordinary size, and that. Would you stop it? Stop it! God, I can't, I can't read now. Kind of hate you. Uh, and that's not even considering the woodland monsters which lurked along the way. Apparently, they gave Riggy quite a scare. What's our only recourse is to encourage Riggy to make another foray on our behalf. We'd best say our farewells to those eggs. Man, I wonder if you get to control the Spriggan. And try to sneak in and get eggs. I have an idea. What if we furnish Riggy with a link pearl? 
Then we can lend him support during his expedition. Give advice on how to deal with the monsters, cheer him on, and that sort of thing. I have a feeling we get to do this. We can try again! Listen to Shiny Sparky! Forgive me if I'm not filled with confidence. What say you, Kamino? Let's give him a chance! I'm dressed like an idiot. Thank you, Kamino. I know he can do this. Ricky is ready! Jump is springing! Grab me the Excellent. We're on the case on this again. What's he say here? Ricky ride, Biggie rock! Ricky spring you down! Here we can try again. Jump is springing! Grab me the Hatchet Hunter. Uh, it seems we have no choice but to trust the Spriggan, and seeing as this is, I, uh, put an arrow in him earlier, my best to take, uh, the lead on this Link Pearl strategy. I'll cut him under. I don't know about you guys, I think she is super cute for some reason. I'm digging her hairstyle. Uh, I do believe we restored Riggy's enthusiasm for the task. Now, if I only knew a little more about fighting, Mon... Oh, you're an adventurer, aren't you? You should be in charge of the Link Pearl. I should. Uh, the following controls can be used to navigate Egg Hunter Riggy. Default settings. Uh, a or mouse, move the cursor left. Really, D or move the cursor right. Space bar to jump. Okay. Uh, collect 15 or more eggs to win the game. Hitting obstacles or being struck by enemy attacks will cause you to drop eggs. So do your best to avoid any danger. <laughs> oh, this is cool. This is actually really cool. Little mini game. I love these little mini games. Oh, I see. Oh, ho, ho. oh, this is actually really hard. Yeah. It's harder than I thought. Ah. Damn it. Oh, that bomb blew up. Ah. 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 Okay, God. God, I'm doing terrible. Oh, there's a golem. What's he gonna do? What's he gonna do? What's he gonna do? Oh, I see what he does. I see what he does. Get that gold egg. How do I? Oh. Oh shit, shit! I'm at zero eggs. I am a. This is terrible. Oh, you know what? I'm. Uh, oh yeah, it's way better with the mouse. Oh, you have a double jump. I didn't know you had a double jump. Shit. Okay, failed, failed. No, I'm not gonna do easy mode. Yes. Okay, it's way easier to do with the uh, the mouse than it is the keyboard, you dudes. Damn it. Oh shit, I clicked off of it. Damn it. Alright, I'm at 26 eggs now. Thirty-eight eggs. Ah, oh, I got hit by that laser beam. Kamehameha! That Goku's trying to keep me from getting eggs. Damn little ladybug. Didn't see ya. Okay, I'm still at 36. So I'm beasting, beasting it now. Beastie, 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 beast. Do, 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 do. Complete! Yeah! I'm awesome. You're awesome. It's way easier to do it with the mouse. God. It was god awful to do it with the keyboard. Look at all these eggs! Well done, you two! Yeah, damn right. We are fucking excellent at this. Nice work, little one. I have to admit, I was wrong about you. And I'm sorry about the whole shooting you with the arrow thing as well. Riggy's not angry. Riggy happy, everyone happy. Here, you should take these eggs and deliver them to Nonota. 
She will be thrilled to hear that we have tracked them down. Here, let me grab all those 16 eggs, like 32 eggs with my hand. Hmm? I don't recall mentioning Nonata's name. No brush. What? Oh, well, you see, uh, I'm a good friend of hers, and this is the first time I've helped out with the egg hunt. Conspiracy! Uh -huh. Anyway, uh, Ricky and I shall have another look around and see if we've missed any of those precious eggs. Very well, friends. I just assumed. I thought. I thought Nona to. Yeah, I must have. I must have missed something. I usually miss things because I'm not very smart. Eh, I'm smart. Uh, the Spriggan is an odd character, but that conjurer who makes my tail twitch. She makes my tail twitch a little bit too. You know what I'm saying? I suppose we have good news for Nonata, at least. Shall we? I'd be happy to make her tail twitch a little bit. Michael? Huh? Oh, sorry. Beat me without my medication. Just kidding, I'm not on any medication! Uh... <laughs> I let Nonata know her... I let Nonata... Jesus. I let Nonata know that her eggs are safe and sound. All I need to do is make the delivery. Ah, there you are. I heard from the tracker, friend, that the eggs have been found. May I see them, please? Reclaimed eggs. A armful of egg... Armful of a Ah, yes! This is one I decorated myself. Thank you very much. Gee, look, we have our eggs back. That's wonderful. We must have searched everywhere. Where did you find them? In a spriggan's nest, you say? So the culprit was a spriggan all along. Nay! Was a Makote! I see you share my suspicions. There was a mastermind behind the entire affair. Isn't that right? Jihil. Jihilele. Ooh, jiggly. Oh, yes, I see your pretty hair, Miss Rosie Pose. Might be the festival's organizer, but I suspect you planned the theft from the start. The conjurer who has so conveniently appeared to heal Riggy. That was you. Clever girl. I don't think I've ever seen her without that egg cap on. Yes, twas I who arranged the eggs to disappear. But it was not my intent to deceive or distress you. You see, I actually did have a prophetic, a pro, poetic, prophetic, whatever dream, prophecy dream this year. And the vision impaled me. <laughs> impaled? <laughs> God damn it. Like, I do need to go back to school. Uh, apparently I need to. Uh, implied that if, if I hid the eggs myself, then the ensuing chain of events would lead to encounters both unexpected and wondrous. So everything that took place was an effort to recreate the details of your dream. No wonder you were so anxious to mend the Spriggan's hurts. I apologize for my trickery, but tell me, did you not enjoy meeting the charming Riggy? Or the manner of which you recovered lost eggs? Uh, I mean, it was cool, I guess. Speaking of which, there was a gift for you, hiding inside one of the reclaimed treasures, a magical doll. Tis so ever adorable that they toddle along in your wake. Oh, thank you. And yes, there is one more encounter we have yet to celebrate. Yours and mine, Lilith Alipo. Some few days ago, I was cleaning out 
uh, a storage closet and came across an old journal. It belonged to my mother, Mihil. Mihil, Mihil, a talented practitioner of the healing arts. In its pages, she made mention of her sister and, and the life her sibling led as a hunter in the depths of the Twelve's Wood. You can't mean. My aunt was said to have given birth to a single daughter. The girl grew up to be quite a handful, plain spoken and proud, with a knack for the bow. And I think you know her name. <gasps> it's like an episode of it's like an episode of Mori. <laughs> you are cousins. <laughs> well, I'll be a spriggin' second cousin. And the first one, <laughs> first cousin to you, it seems. Uh, now that this is a, is an unspoken wonder. No, that is an unspoken wonder. I thank you for your cooperation in this coming out. Even I was unaware of the surprise that would greet me this day. If you aren't too wary, might be interested in helping me hide the eggs once more. We may just witness a few more special encounters. Uh, yeah. Quest complete. You have unlocked the Egg Hunter Riggy mini game. Open the chest in the interim and take another blah blah blah. Neat. So that was pretty cool. And that's pretty much the event. Kind of short. I like that. Uh, unexpected encounters. What is this? Magic Prism Hatching Tide. I'm going to have to do this and see what that is. First Archon of the Sixth Umbral Era. Let's get a good look at him. Let's get a good look at him for the video. Oh my god, it's tiny. Look how tiny it is. It's gonna hatch? Is it gonna hatch? Bloop! Man, it is like super tiny. I thought it was gonna be bigger than that. It's like about the size of my foot. I get a good shot. There's a little bit better shot of it. He's super tiny, though. Come on, hatch again. Boop. There he goes. Well, okay, so that's that. Let's see what this hatching tide prism does. Magic prism hatching tide. Oh yeah, that's kind of cool. Just a little, yeah, it's just a little firework. That's all these things are. Eggs spit up and then they hit each other, explode more eggs, and then they ex and then those eggs explode. Uh, that's actually kind of cool. So I almost forgot that there's actually a, a housing uh, reward for the Easter event this year. It's the one hanging on the wall right behind me. I've been talking about how like they need to have this banner for us to hang in our houses forever. This is the one that you usually see uh, outside in the the city states hanging hanging on the streets. Uh, so it's cool that they finally gave us that. Um, and then of course there's the little minion still back there that I have with me. Um, I want to thank you guys so much for watching again. Um, if you like this video, please like and subscribe for more Final Fantasy XIV videos and other vlogs and other random bullshit that I do. Uh, be sure to watch my Twitch streams because I'm doing that a lot more. And uh, until the next video, please be kind to each other and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.